An amortization schedule is a table that shows periodic payments on a loan, breaks down each payment into principal and interest and shows the remaining balance after each payment. Define the input cells to enter the known values of the loan. C2 annual interest rate, C3 loan term, E2 payments per year, E3 loan amount. Format C2 as percentage and E3 as currency. Select C2 and in the home tab click on percentage in the number group. Select E3 and click on number format drop down select currency. Create a loan amortization schedule for a 12 month loan paid monthly. Loan amount is 12k, annual interest rate is 9% and loan term is 1 year. Enter 9% in C2, 12 in E2, 1 in C3 and 12k in E3. Enter the column headers period, payment amount, interest, principal and balance. Total number of periods for this loan is loan term multiplied by payments per year which is 12. Enter the period numbers in column A from 0 to 12. In the period 0 row, enter the balance in E6. Initial balance is loan amount. Enter equal to E3. Use PMT function to calculate the periodic payment amount. This amount stays constant for the entire duration of the loan. Here is the syntax. Use this formula. Rate divide the annual interest rate by the number of payments per year. NPER multiply the number of years by the number of periods per year. PV loan amount. Use absolute references for all cells to copy the formula down without any changes. To calculate the interest part of periodic payment, use the IPMT function. Here is the syntax. All the arguments are the same as in the PMT function except the PER argument that specifies the payment period. Use this formula. Payment period A7 is supplied as relative reference as it is supposed to change when formula is copied down. All the other arguments are same as used in the payment amount formula. To calculate the principal part of periodic payment, use the PPMT function. Here is the syntax. The syntax and arguments are the same as the IPMT function. Use this formula. Arguments are same as the ones used in the interest formula. Interest plus principal should be equal to the payment amount. To calculate the balance after the first period, add the loan amount and the principal of the first period. E6 plus D7. Since the principal is a negative number, it is subtracted from the loan amount. Copy the formulas down to as many cells as needed. This is the monthly loan amortization schedule. It takes 12 months to pay off this loan. Balance is zero in the 12th period. See how the principal part increases and the interest part decreases with each payment. Excel functions return payment amount, interest and principal as negative numbers. To return positive values, pass a negative loan amount as PV argument. Minus ABS $E $3. Use the absolute function to get the value entered in E3 without the sign and put the minus sign before the argument directly in the formula. The user can enter positive or negative value and PMT returns a positive value. Do the same for interest and principal formulas. For balance in E6, use this formula, absolute E3. Enclose the loan amount in ABS function. For balance for period 1, use this formula, E6 minus D7. Subtract principal from previous balance. Copy the formulas down. Positive values are returned. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.